hey guys welcome back to another ai video and in this video i'm going to teach you how you can do fast and really accurate face swap in comp ui this is pretty much the best uh, face swap mo open source model available on the internet so let's proceed with it so the workflow we're going to be uh, dealing with today is called uh, comp ui reactor node and you can download this very easily from the comp ui manager just go to the manager click on custom nodes manager and here you can write reactor uh, node for comp ui now you're going to want to install this and there will be some issues that might rise up every time i've tried installing this on a windows machine i have dealt with some issues i'm going to tell you really quick how to deal with them so if you're facing this kind of error where it says import error or import failed uh, here's how you can quickly fix this. Just go to uh, the GitHub page and I'm going to link it down in the description if I can. And you're going to want to scroll down to this troubleshooting section over here. And you're going to essentially follow these steps to get it uh, to work again. Firstly, you're going to check the version of Python that is installed in your comp UI directory. So you're going to want to go to your comp UI folder. Here you're gonna click on uh, open in terminal and you're gonna run the first command. It will tell you the version of Python present. So mine is 3.11 for example. Then you're gonna come here again and you're gonna select the uh, whatever version of Python you have installed in your comp UI folder. I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna go back to my command prompt and I'm gonna paste it here. I'm gonna run this and this should get uh, the node suite working on your system if it was giving you an error early on. Okay, so now once we're done with this step, we can play around with this node suite. So let's uh, try some different examples with it. Firstly, uh, we're gonna, of course, load image. We're gonna actually load multiple images. Uh, so we can do face swap. Next up, we're gonna select the main node, which is uh, CompUI reactor face swap. And we're going to bring it here and we're going to uh, also include a uh, face boost model over here and on the output we're going to uh, preview the image so it's a really simple uh, workflow i'm going to explain what all these options mean uh, in a minute uh, we're going to change to a different image now okay so we have two images now and let's say i want to overlay this image on top of this image so we're going to plug this into the source image and then we're going to put this as an input image so it's going to essentially swap this face on top of this face and we're going to just connect it to the output and let's run this and see what results we get okay that was really quick uh, okay so this is the result that we're getting uh, let's swap this and see what results we get we're going to swap the images now let's say i want to put this face on top of this face so we're just going to swap it and we're going to run it again and as you can see uh, this is the output and input image. So this face swap is really accurate. Now, of course, you can, as you can see, uh, there is some blurriness on the face. You can either use an upscaler or you can play around with these settings. Now, this setting here, quote former weight, it deals with this blurriness on the face. So the more uh, this value leans to one, the more you're gonna have fidelity or the likeness of the face, the more this value, let's say we put 0.1 over here, the sharper the output is gonna be. So you can so you can play around with these settings and you also have face restore visibility over here. You can also uh, try different face detection models. You have of course retina face and you have the YOLO world one. Uh, the, both of them are really great uh, when it comes to detecting face. And I did not find any noticeable difference between the two. For the swap model, of course, there's only one open source available right now, but it works really well. Okay, so I have changed the input images and we're gonna run this prompt and see the result. And as you can see over here, it has overlaid Tom Cruise's face onto uh, Chris's face over here. So yeah, you can play around with different settings. You can, of course, pass it through a case sampler. I'm gonna go into more detail about that in a separate video, but you can play around with this image to make this blended more in the scene. Now I'm gonna tell you what the rest of these options do. Of course, you can change or specify the the gender yeah, of the images and it, what this option does is for example if you have more than one character 
in an image and in the output image you have more than one character you can change their faces at the same time so that was a fairly quick tutorial if you need any help i'm gonna be in the comment section down below and see you in the next one peace